Hey there everybody, today I'm going to be installing this IntelliPowered powered 9200 series, it's actually the 9245 uh, 45 amp DC output into my travel trailer because this device right down here uh, I believe is killing my battery, it's just boiling the water off and this is just the uh, converter that comes uh, standard in uh, this particular travel trailer and they are notoriously bad. So what I'm going to do is uh, on the left side you see the well you can see green and, and white but there's also a black wire right here. Uh, I'm going to cut those and put a plug a female end on and then I'm going to cut that red and white and then just pull this uh, heap out and then uh, this unit comes oops, with the plug on it, so I'll just plug it into the uh, female plug that I wire on to the wires that are down there. And then the business end of this unit, oops, right here, I'll just be putting the, the DC wires into there. And uh, hopefully it'll be pretty straightforward and not, not too difficult. I okay, made sure my power is all turned off and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and disconnect these wires. Uh, basically I just got to uh, cut these two and then I'm just going to hook those straight into the new unit and then I'm going to uh, put a female onto that and uh, should be good to go. Here's a small pet peeve I have uh, with, and this is just with things in general where you have to install something. Um, I don't know why manuals can't tell you what size tools you're going to need to use when you do a job. For example, this right here um, is a 532nd Allen wrench and you have to use it to tighten down um, the lugs over the battery wires. But I mean, how hard would it have either just to have printed something here or put it in the manual? Anyhow, rant over. This poor battery's been cooked to death, and at least I'm going to get an opportunity to clean this cable up a little bit before I hook it back together, and that might help performance too. I put a meter on my battery. It's only at about 10 and a half volts. Uh, the little wizard here, or pendant, is telling me we're on full boost mode, so it's trying to charge that battery up. We'll see if it can get it done. I got a pretty good suspicion that battery might be done for which is not the end of the world because I was thinking about swapping that out with uh, a couple of six volts anyway so well since nothing ever really goes easy um, this unit does not slide quite right in there I don't know if you can see it or not but right here the top of this drops down about three-eighths of an inch and this unit catches on that a little bit so I'm gonna have to uh, cut that bottom out uh, back far enough so I can fit this in there so more to follow well, apparently Sasquatch had been living in this trailer before me holy cow look at that hair I don't even know what that's from he's my uh, walkie tool multi tool to shave a hole into the back here what's nice is I was able to keep those two little notches right there which is where the uh, front cover is going to hook into and then as you can see, there's already uh, ventilation uh, on each side. This one on the right doesn't go very far, it just goes up. But I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to monitor the temperature on this to make sure there's not going to be a problem. But uh, it looks like it should blow right into those holes and not really be a big deal. Alright, there's my uh, completed project. Uh, looks like, bra uh, not brand new, but looks like original. And it's going to be nice. I don't know if you can see that LED on there or not, but I'll be able to see. Uh, sorry, be able to see uh, you know what the charger's doing, which you never knew before. So, and the other thing is, I uh, hopefully it'll shut itself off, which I don't think the other one was doing, and that's going to save me some amps. So, thanks for watching.